Hey guys, Ray from Love the RV. Just a quick update on our 2018 Ram that we bought October 2018. So it's getting pretty close to three years. Done a few uh, reviews on it and updates over that time I'll link back to. But we finally had our first breakdown with it. And luckily it was fairly minor. Had to do with the shifter arm here. So let me turn it on and I'll let you know what went on. So I was parked in town and uh, went into a store, came back out, and I was uh, parallel parked. So I had to put the gear shifter in reverse and then reverse backwards. And uh, when I went to put it into drive, suddenly it didn't go into drive. It was kind of stuck in neutral. And this thing, the arm got really loose and wonky. So I went, okay, I went back and tried to put it into park. And rather going into park and turning green right there, it would just flash, the P would just flash, but it wouldn't be in park. It was actually in kind of in reverse still. Um, and also the key here, I wasn't able to turn it off. I'd get, I'd try to turn it off, would be stuck in accessory mode. So I could turn the, engine off but the actual power wouldn't turn off and I also noticed the rear backup lights were on in the truck um, if I tried to start it it wouldn't go into park of course I could start it in neutral but all I had left was reverse I could go backwards and I could start the truck in neutral but I would it wouldn't go down shift down into drive Let's see that So, that was freaking me out. I thought, oh crap, the transmission's shot. So anyway, what I did is, uh, this thing's still under its three-year full warranty. <clears throat> and we also have the full roadside uh, Chrysler or F FCA um, protection for roadside. So, I just called the thing they gave me in the wallet and the lady got on the phone and I described the problem. And she had a tow truck come out within about a half an hour the tow truck showed up and luckily we're in Campbell River where I bought it so the dealer is here so I just told the tow truck driver to dump it off at the dealer it was around five o'clock so dealership called me the next morning and they said what they found is behind here there's a shift cable that attaches to the shifter and it goes down to the transmission and I guess he described that um, the adjustment clip had come out partially and was causing the problem. They said they hadn't, haven't ever seen quite that problem before. Um, I looked online and there was a big recall on the shifter cables, but not my year. It was previous up till 2017 and my year wasn't in that. So anyway, they said uh, the technician could just push the cable back in and it all worked. Um, but they recommended replacing the whole cable since it was under warranty and they kind of know I tow a fifth wheel so I didn't want to get stuck out somewhere and have this problem happen when I'm towing so they ordered up the shift cable took a day to get it and so it was ready so it broke down on Wednesday I got it back Saturday anyway I was going to show you that shift cable I'll show you a picture of the shift cable and uh, show you where it installs here I have to crawl under the dash to show you this little thing pops off it's just a rubber boot but that's not where you go to get it but I thought I'd show you anyway just pull that back you can see in there it attaches down behind there is where the shift cable and the lever attaches here I actually ran across a lot of 2019s are having problems with this uh, with I guess it's been modified different but there's a nut that holds the thing and they have a really loose shifter in them some guys have to go in there and tighten up a nut right in there anyway let me crawl underneath and I'll show you where that uh, where I think that adjustment clip is and then we'll crawl under the, the rig and I'll show you where the cable attaches to the transmission first of all here's your brake pedal so you see over here right up there there's kind of a cable that goes through. There's a rubber boot in the firewall there. And that's where the cable goes through the firewall and down under the truck. 
crawl further up and I'll give you a view straight up at this cable. So you can see where the cable comes through up here to that bracket that holds it. And then it's kind of a plastic affair and then it hooks onto a, a lever up there that the gear shifter moves. So somehow I think this plastic thing can be uh, adjusted. They said it would kind of like partially come apart so that the adjustment got out of whack on the shifter and that was the problem. I'm not exactly sure how this thing works. I'm not going to pull it out and play with it to show you. But uh, that's basically the problem right there that was causing the issue. I don't want to play with it and then not be able to adjust it again. <laughs> but anyway, it's good for myself to know where the failure was in case I'm like 50 miles out into the boonies somewhere. I can uh, maybe have a chance of uh, fixing it myself. It doesn't look like an overly complex arrangement. And under the hood, you can see where it uh, comes out of the firewall there. And then it goes down underneath the truck. There's a few clips that hold it in place. And it comes to another support here. Looks like maybe there's another adjustment here. Possibly the adjustment clips at this end. I'm not sure. Seems to vary with different cables. I went online and there was a couple different types of cables and different ways to adjust. If you do a search for a RAM shifter cable adjustment, you can come up with a few different posts on forums with the method to do it. Anyway, that's it right there. I think it was about a 136 bucks Canadian for the cable when I looked at it, but I got it for free because we're fully under warranty, didn't pay any labor or towing charges. Well, there you go, just a quick update. I won't do any big review update because I really haven't put many miles on it since my last review. I think the last review I did at 35,000 kilometers or 21,000 something miles, and now we're at 24,000 something miles or getting close to 40,000 kilometers so I haven't really done anything with it so <laughs> till next time Ray from loveyourv.com cheers everyone